Hey guys, this is Tom Holland for Field Target Tech. Today I'm out at my range. It wasn't something I was planning on filming, but being that I'm here, I might as well anyway. Um, got my TM-1000 here and my homemade quick release top wheel for my collars scope so I can take it apart for transport. Um, that's a work in progress yet, as you can see. Uh, it's not perfected yet, but it's, it's it, it'll go. Um, today I plan on doing uh, some testing for some much heavier pellets. Um, I'm going to sight it in with my field target trophies. I'm going to sight that in at 30 yards, and then we're going to try some monsters. We're going to try some beasts. We're going to try some ultra heavy pellets that are not normally used for WFTF. Um, I've been crunching the numbers over the winter because I've been snowed in and rained in. Uh, haven't been able to get out here to do any real testing. So, looking at the numbers on some of these heavier pellets, they just have such amazing um, energy retention, uh, especially at 55 yards. Um, these pellets have an energy retention of somewhere around the six foot pound realm ish um, which is an average uh, 12 foot pounds field target um, energy level at about 55 yards um, some of the heavier pellets have a uh, a much higher energy retention at that distance um, Sniper Magnums, which I have coming. I should have them today, actually, by the time I get home from this video. Um, and some other heavier pellets. Um, if you look at the wind drift characteristics of a lot of those pellets on paper, um, you'll see that the numbers don't even compare to, to the wind drift of these. Um, to give you an idea, these pellets at, 50, at 55 yards in a 15 mile an hour wind will drift almost 10 inches. Um, with the Sniper Magnums, if they work in these guns due to their length and their weight, um, those pellets only drift maybe 5 inches. Um, there's one pellet that I don't know if it will work in this. It'll be a, a little bit of a secret till the next episode, but that pellet at its insane weight only will drift 3 inches and a little bit more in a 15 mile an hour wind at 55 yards and it retains over 10 foot pounds of energy um, I don't you know a lot of guys that say well it's it's too slow it's too loopy well if you're clicking like we are and you can range accurately it that shouldn't make a difference at all um, if you're in hunter class or something and you have a monster weight pellet that's stupid weight then it might come into effect where you're going to run out of mill dots or adjustment in your scope to uh, effectively hit the target with some reference points in the reticle um, what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm going to try all of that in the TM-1000 as well as the Steyr um, personally I would rather have a split at 10 foot-pounds at 55 yards going to split at six foot pounds at 55 yards. It's more of a chance that you're going to knock it down. It's more of a chance. It's, it's more transfer energy if you're going to split. Um, so we're going to see how that theory works. And first of all, we're going to see if these things even group at distance. We do not have a lot of wind here today. Um, it's relatively uh, calm at the moment. So I want to get some shooting in and sight these in before the wind comes up. So stay tuned. Later on, I'll probably put the camera down range so you can see what some of these heavier pellets do and group at 55. And by then, maybe we'll have a little bit of a brisk of a wind where I can show you how it bucks the wind, or maybe not. Um, this gun may not even like them, we don't know. So that's what I'm gonna test first. If they don't group at 30, they're not gonna group at 55. So let me do some testing first, and then we'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, I uh, just got done testing a bunch of pellets. I'm not even going to show you some of the results. Basically heavies in the TM-1000 are basically useless of any weight. The only weight that I haven't tried was the regular 10.5 JSB heavies. 
I thought I brought them with me. I apparently left them home. But I tried monsters, redesigned monsters, beasts, um, even rabbit, rabbit magnums. And I, I think the issue with it is they fit way too tight in this particular barrel. And the... Uh, just the velocity it just doesn't doesn't work with the twist rate in this barrel this is probably a 1 in 16 twist now I'm not even gonna bother trying them out of the styre because they have much the same twist rate and I would expect um, pretty much the same result within within reason um, the most promising one out of all of them actually was the JSB monster at 13 grain uh, not the redesigned ones, the regular ones. Um, they seem to do okay group-wise at 55. Um, but put a little wind in it, and it was they were absolutely all over the place. Not even close to where a lighter 8.64 H&N uh, um, uh, field target trophy is, which is my go-to pellet at the moment. Um, so we're going to do uh, we're going to pull the Marauder out for a bit, and that has a different twist rate. So, being that that twist rate is probably about 1 in 12, from what I understand, for the new design barrel. And I believe they are slightly choked. So, we're going to try some of these in the Marauder and see what happens. If there are any results um, worth sharing, I will do so. Uh, I'm not even going to show you the groups that I just did with these. It was, don't even waste your time, basically. Um, now we know. <laughs> Because I do things that uh, normal people go, oh, you can't use those, or you don't use those. We don't use those. And I'm a learned in my brain that says, well, if you say no one uses them, I'm going to make a point of trying them because it's not commonplace. I always have to do something different. Uh, but in my archery world, that I've done that with my crossbow, uh, many times I usually end up victorious with that, which is why I'm a tinkerer. <laughs> So uh, we're going to pull the Marauder out and we're going to see what maybe some of these will do a little bit better with a different twist rate in, in that gun. So stick around and I'll give you the results of that in a little bit. Okay guys, um, played with the Marauder a little bit. Um, sighted them in for some field target trophies, H&Ns. Uh, shot very well, so we're sighted in with this. We're sighted in with the TM-1000. The heavier pellets in all of these guns were absolutely atrocious. I'm not even going to show you groups. It's not even worth it to waste your time uh, even investigating those type of pellets at 12 foot-pounds. Um, this gun has a 1 in 12 twists. Um, the, the old uh, monsters worked okay in it at distance with no wind. Once there was a little wind, it opened up and they were useless. Uh, best groups I got was probably in a very, very light wind, probably about six or eight inches, which is totally unacceptable. So um, live and learn, I guess. I got a couple more pellets probably waiting at home for me right now uh, to test in the future. Hopefully they'll work. I have those dies coming. Um, I should have them, I believe today's day number 14. Uh, he says I'll have them probably around 17 to 20 days or so. So I got a little bit more of a wait to go for those. And once I get those up and that operation up and running, I'll show you what it is to uh, swatch some pellets. So that being said, that'll be it for uh, today's endeavor. Um, learned a little bit. And uh, we'll try again for next time. Don't know if I'm going to be shooting tomorrow up in Connecticut. They're talking rain. And I don't want to put all this good stuff in the rain before Crossman and mess it up. So we're going to leave it alone, I think, and we're going to, tomorrow will be a pass. So next week, I think we're going to be going up to Binghamton, and we'll see what that, uh, weather-wise, what that'll bring us. Um, until next time, this is Tom Allen for Field Target Tech.